This video will contain spoilers. A Quiet Place, Day 1. Universally negative rating. Watch it in the cinema. Uh, Joseph Quinn. Digimon Hansu. Looks and sounds familiar, but I'm not sure where from. Uh, Peter Nyong'o. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that they didn't put Long Krasinski in the cast as they normally do. Um, anyway. I don't think it was necessary to make this considering the start of Quiet Place 2 already shown how it all started. But I still did think it was quite a good film. Um, just obviously nowhere near as good as the ones with John. Um, I'm going to be honest. I've seen the trailer a bunch of times because I go to the cinema a lot and... I didn't realise that the girl in the yellow coat, you know, Lupita Nyong'o, I didn't realise that was a woman, I thought that was a, a guy. <laughs> um, and then I didn't realise Joseph Quinn was in it, because I've only seen an episode of season 4 Stranger Things, plus he's wearing a wig in that. Um, I was expecting the jump, and I seen it with Ginger, and he was like, "Try not to shit yourself." And I was like, "No guarantees," and I got further than I thought I was gonna get. I didn't jump until the bit where Joseph Quinn's character pops out of the water in the subway, <clears throat> and then I I jumped like two more times after that. Um, I don't get how Ginger doesn't. Uh, I'm a bit biased when I say this, but that cat, I fucking hate it. And I just hate cats in general, but this one, I get that, like, the cat is Lapita's, like, sort of emotional support animal. And it is a bit inhumane to sort of not try and save it, but just the fact that it, you know, it causes the uh, the things. I don't. Do they have a name? I'm not sure. But uh, the cat causes one of them to nearly kill Lupita and one of her friends, and then uh, Joseph Quinn has to go rescue it because it it wanders into like a a nest. Um, there, there was quite a bit of this that didn't make sense. There was that. There was the fact that Lapita is like, I'm, I'm gonna go get myself a pizza, and yeah, I get that. You know, she has cancer. She's done already, and she's she just wants to have like a luxury. Um, before she she bites it, but just <laughs> I find that a bit weird. Um, everyone. Go on towards boats to try and get out where she's going in the opposite direction for some pizza. And then at the end, she. I thought she was going to start screaming in order to sacrifice herself, but she didn't. But she did still stay behind in New York. Um, and she said. Uh, she put in a letter saying that, you know, the city is so beautiful and all that. Didn't really get to appreciate it because it's so wide all the time. But now, because this is, you know, a quiet place. It's quiet. Um, and as they do that voiceover, she's walking through the street with earphones in. So it just, it seems a bit inconsistent about the rules. Of like how loud you can get. Um, but then again I haven't seen a Quiet Place film in mm, probably three years. It was probably like when Quiet Place 2 came out. Or not long after. Um, <sighs> I don't think what I was going to say next.
the scene where all the people start walking towards the boat, it it is fucking stupid because there there was someone that was carrying a suitcase and the wheels were like quite loud and it's just are you retarded? Because, you know, these people have either already figured out that uh, you need to be silent or they've been told. Like, there's no way they don't know. I get that there was one person that was in a wheelchair and the wheels were making a noise, but that guy with that suitcase is just... He doesn't deserve the <laughs> to be honest, because his fuck-up, it was really easy to just not do, end up killing lots of people. 